Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. I am going to play with my new beer bomb technique. <laughs> um, the drop and flop. I don't know what you're going to call it. Um, I do like beer bomb. It's quite cool. So I've got my cup. I've got my white. So this is um, spring house paint from Bunnings. Uh, mixed with flow troll and water. Now the last one, it's the next day, and the last one's drying a little bit <clears throat> crazy looking. I think the white was a bit too thick in some parts. So I'm going to see what else is possible today. Uh, so into my, oh that's rather thick, it really is drying up, okay cool, um, into my bomb cup, I'm going to call it, which is the tiny little nip cup, 20, I'm going to put some of this homemade orange, which is made from 50% um, deep yellow from Reeves and 50% crimson red from Reno Art. And um, this is a batch I made up quite a long time ago, so it's, I have no idea whether it's got silicon in it or not. Um, it does kind of have a bit of a glisten on it. Let's put just a single drop of our Durex Perfect Glide. Now, the pink and black one, guys, don't buy the green tin. It's not dimethicone. So we're going to go with the that. We're going to go with some grass green. Also from Reeves. Um, my sticks disappeared off that. Let's get a new one. So when I'm using these little pots, guys, these are little recycled um, tuna tins. I just break one of these sticks up. I'm going to go around twice with this. Um... Just to give it a an extra bit of just this, I can use more of them. Like you know, you only need half of one for those. Um, I wonder what copper would do. What do you reckon, copper? You want to come play too? Where's your stick? Pop some of you on there and go around again. Don't need much for a flip and drag of any sort. This beer bomb, because you submerge it in white paint, you really don't need much. It goes a long way. Right, so we've got our record. Um, how do I prepare my record? As I've shown in another video, um, I use book um, cover, Duracell we call it in New Zealand, um, just a plastic book covering stuff. I put a bit of paper in the middle and I've taken to doing it um, with a hole in the paper so that you can see it. Um, and then I've got a bit of tape behind the hole itself just to... Um, give you just to, so the paint doesn't fall through all right so let's submerse our bomb our color bomb we're ready drop it in there we go get rid of that off there 
And then we're going to do a flip cup. This is my second time around, guys. So, forgive me if it looks a bit wonky. Because I haven't perfected it yet. I bet some of you have gone off and played with it from the last video, though. Oh, that's fallen over already. How about that? That's okay. I'm good with that. You know why? Because it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. She moves in mysterious ways. Oh, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's not spreading out that much. I think those colours were a little bit too thick in places. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's see what will happen if we drag it out like that. There we go. We've got some action happening now. Catching it on the sides like that sometimes just allows it to hold on as you pull back the other way. That's what I've found anyway. Okay. <laughs> Let's just cover up some of these bits of edge of record so that we don't get black edges. And I'm just picking up some of the paint that's dribbled off and just allowing it to drag off my finger or off my glove as I push down. Okay, now I'm going to use the torch, the flame torch. It's going to pop the bubbles and bring any silicon to the top. Well, it's not as um, soft and gentle as the previous one, but I wonder how much of that is because my cup fell over. Hmm. It's got plenty of cells in it, though. Now, because we have a black background, where the cells are, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of paint and add just a little bit into each of those cells just to cover up the black. Whoops, trying not to do that.
some of you are thinking oh but I quite like that black hue in the back of those yep it does make a good effect and got to be aware when you are going to be cleaning off the silicon it's going to screw up my caterpillar that's really sad um, You've got to be aware that you've got to be able to wash it without the water getting in under the paint, especially on records. So you've got to have a thickness of paint in there somewhere. So maybe in this particular style you might want to pre-paint your record I probably should have this on my Lazy Susan so I could turn it around I didn't even think about that okay I'm not a huge fan of this one, to be honest. Um, it's not, it's not my favourite. And yet, there's something about it that is quite enticing. It's definitely not a wash off. Um... But it won't be staying home to live with me, that's for sure. Now someone said the other day about how, in a comment on one of my paintings, it's a pity that acrylic doesn't self-level like resin does. And... You know what it does to a point and it also depends on how runny your paint is before you start and all those sorts of things as well so it does to a point but yes you do end up with a slightly lumpy looking especially once it's dried it's um Depends on the the different paints that are in and the different colours um, as to how much variation you get. Let's get you down and show you what we got. Now, first of all, I want to show you why I'm questioning my white. See how the um, the edges are going a little bit frayed. Some days it does it, some days it doesn't, so I don't really know. What else is possible? So you don't get those crisp, clear, but you get getting a little fuzzballs like those down there. How cute are they? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that broken up look I'm not a fan of it kind of looks like a topographical <laughs> paint picture you know of land how does it get any better than that all right guys we'll see how it dries and I'll come back to you and uh, show it to you once it's dried and we'll get to see what magic it's created overnight thank you bye okay so we're back and what i thought i'd do is as soon as we've got two beer bomb ones here and i realized that my editing wasn't so great on the first beer bomb one i thought i'd show you this dry again 
because I, when I saved it, I didn't include that bit. Silly me. So it dried beautifully in regards to the colour. The cells all stayed looking yummy. I really like it. Really, really like it. I seem to be having an interesting thing going on with my white though. This is my house paint. Um, and I wasn't getting this much of a problem before. I'm wondering if it's the new 10 litre pail. Um, it's just, as you can see, giving me a bit of a freak out look when it dries. See, it looks like cottage cheese instead of milk. I don't know. But it seems to be doing it where the silicon is. And I'm wondering, because this white paint separates really, really quickly. And you have to stir it. You know, leave it for about an hour and you've got to re-stir it again. And I'm wondering whether it's that part of it that is causing that separating. Like it's underneath the underneath the silicon and not drying as quickly um, as you can see on this one which is the video you're watching it's done it as well but only like you can see it sort of only does it where the silicon's near ish and it's like it's um, yeah anyone got any ideas pop them in the comments let me know what are you aware of so this one has done that same similar white internals and I'm wondering if that's because I filled the, the shot glass of colour up with white and so even if I hadn't done it bare bomb by filling your shot glass up with your white and then doing your flip and drag whether that puts that layer of white, really thick layer of white down. Good question. I wonder. So I'm I'm pleased with the result. Like once you get away from it far enough away not to see that crazing, which I'm pretty sure once we get this resin on it won't show. Um brown and green never been my favourite colours. But I do kind of like it. It's got a funkiness about it. It depends on which way you hang it, I suppose. Um, what else is possible? I quite like it. It's not my favourite, but I still quite like it. So, I know some people are already playing with the beer bombs, and that's really exciting. Um, I'd love to see more of what you guys create with beer bomb technique if you choose to play with it and uh, if you would like to come and share your fun and share our fun in the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group you are more than welcome um, it is about having fun it's not about promoting your business but I won't kick you out if you share your videos from your YouTube channel that's how you found me how's it getting any better um, how much fun can we have guys? What else is possible when you're playing with your universe? Bye bye